Hello everyone, dear friends. I would like to record a short video today and share, you know, the state I'm in right now, and I realized how I came to it. This is the state of such tranquility and inner harmony. You know, you live in this world quietly, you observe yourself, your consciousness, you observe this world and bit by bit, you really begin to understand how to live here. And all those topics that we raised about the attacks and tricks of consciousness of the system, how all this approaches you, how you get in touch with that every day, and how much of that is going on in your life. Something new happens every day. You've overcome something today, right? You've had some experience and you already know how not to get into that trap. But tomorrow the system will surely invent something else to pull out your attention through something else. And it's an ongoing process. And, you know, Igor Mikhailovich very often talks about the fact that the system and consciousness simply want to eat. This is its job and that's normal. Simple examples when they know everything, know how to do everything, understand that there is the system, understand that consciousness is literally exploiting them. They feel, they already even experience major flashes of a light contact, but they lose. From time to time, Consciousness literally enslaves them once again and makes them get emotional, feed the system, worry about some thoughts in the head, feel inner belittling, well, and all the rest. And then they wonder why. Well, just because the system wants to eat, they say, but what should we do? Well, a simple question, what to do? Not to feed the system. If you want to live, just live. If you don't want to live, then feed the system. Everything's really simple. Yes, you kind of always understood all that. But then you suddenly realized, you became really aware that you should just save your attention. You should stop investing your attention in analyzing something, why consciousness acts that way and the interconnection of those events, why everything at the moment has developed in such a way that some kind of attack is now taking place, or why you are now in a bad or in a good state, and so on. You should just learn to calmly live the other world which is inside of you. Because, yes, we are in such circumstances. Yes, nowadays we live in a time when the system is strong enough and, and it constantly presses us. But what can we do? All we can do is to learn to survive in such circumstances, to become stronger and really learn to serve the spiritual world. From your everyday experience, you learned to live somehow differently, just to live by your inner world. You very much value your attention, you are much more interested in what is going on there inside, how feelings unfold, what they taste like. I mean, every day it is different and beautiful. You simply stopped being surprised and impressed by new tricks and stopped giving it any meaning or describing it in colors. It just exists. Today it is this way, let it be so. Tomorrow it's different. But this is life, everything goes, everything changes. Your attitude towards it, you know, when you treat it more simply, when it really becomes easier to live. It's just the value of your attention. And when you really value it, it's more interesting for you to direct it into true reality and learn what is out there. And when you have no interest in this material world, everything becomes much easier. You don't stand up for anything, you don't prove anything to anybody. You're not trying to be better than you are, you're not competing with anybody. You don't care how other people behave, because it's their private life. While your life is inside, you live by your innermost. And that doesn't mean that you're just a slacker and an idler. No, the life of personality is a constant development and self-improvement. While being here in the three-dimensional world, you learn, you develop your consciousness so that it truly serves God. In other words, you learn to use your tool, everything happens in exactly the same way. It's just that an inner state, you know, is sort of more harmonious and more calm. That's what I'm feeling right now. And you live and enjoy the possibility of being in contact with that beautiful within you. And you live like that day after day. And it's true, the more love you feel and nurture within you, the more it supersedes everything unnecessary, and you, the true one, remain. And this state, this feeling, I just wanted to share with you that when you remember 
this state of calmness that everything within is simple and calm, then you don't care about any vanity and it's so much easier to live like that. Thank you all. See you soon.